Hi, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon, and today we are outside on this beautiful day, and I'm going to show you how to process a car in just a few seconds. Now, if we had fingerprints on the outside of our car, we would use our traditional powder and our brush, and we'd be brushing along, but that'd take all day. So I'm going to show you how to process this car in just a few minutes. You're still going to want to use a high-quality powder, so I'm going to use a gray powder, and I'm going to use an orange powder. The next thing I'm going to use is just some rolled cotton. I got this rolled cotton uh, at the pharmacy and you can get it pretty cheap. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to open this up. Now the rolled cotton is just that. It's like a giant cotton ball that you can tear off. And so I'm just going to take a big giant piece of the cotton and I'm going to fluff it up nice. Now, like we normally have, if this car were potentially had DNA on it, we would need to use a disposable brush. But we're going to do the same. Once we use this cotton, we can dispose of this and just get more. It's really cheap. I'm going to start with the orange powder. Again, high quality powder. Now you can see I put the powder on the cotton. And I'm just going to go right over to the car. And very lightly dust the car. Need to put some more on. So be it. I can see some beautiful prints showing up right here. On the door handle we can do the whole car. Now I'm going to switch colors just to show the contrast and I'll use a gray powder. Same thing, I'm going to rip a piece of cotton. I'm just going to go ahead and dust. You can see some beautiful fingerprints showing up on our door. So I'm doing a close-up of where I just did on the car. You can see that there are lots of fingerprint ridges all in this one. This one came out fantastic. And then even over here on the left, you can see that this one also has some fingerprint ridges. Now I did some on this with a lighter color powder. And you can also see the nice fingerprints all down the, the car. There's lots of fingerprint ridges in this one here. Lot, you see those ridges? Be able to lift those with a tape, a diff lift tape, um, or uh, a hinge lifter. Any way that you want to lift that, it's on a dry surface, just like any non-porous surface, you'd be able to lift that. how easy it was, it just took a few seconds to process this car lift those up and we're good to go. So now what we're going to do is this series for the next few videos I'm going to show you how to process each part of the car. We started with the outside of the car in one of my other videos I showed you how to lift wet fingerprints could be from the outside of the car but we're going to go detailed inside the car how to lift fingerprints from the underside of the handle on the armrests on the steering wheel all that stuff we're going to cover in the next few videos. So please stay tuned, subscribe to my videos, and you can catch all these at ForensicEducation.net. I'm Mike McCutcheon. I hope you'll enjoy this video and see us next time. Thank you.